working on our game and we would like to go into play mode, but we have a console error. Let's see if the assistant can help us. Let's use the attach menu to attach the error to the assistant. Next, we'll use the code shortcut and we'll ask the assistant to help us. We'll inspect the code to see if we're satisfied and we'll use the save button to overwrite the previous script. Great, the assistant has fixed the error for us. I've noticed that there's a lack of comments in the script. Let's see if the assistant can do it for us. Very helpful. The assistant explains line by line what the script does for us. Finding outlier objects can be a critical part for debugging your project. We'll ask assistant to see if there's an outlier in any of these prefabs. Pretty quickly, the assistant has found a rigid body component on tropical plant number four. It would have taken me quite some time to find the same thing. Turning around, I see a pink object in my scene. The assistant might be able to tell us why. It says we're using a shader that is incompatible with the high definition render pipeline. Let's use a shader that is compatible with our pipeline. Before we jump into play mode, I'd like to create a little tool that shows me the FPS in the game view. After saving the script, we attach it to the game camera and we're good to go. Going into play mode, we can see the FPS counter in the top right of the game view. Turning around, there is a notable drop in FPS. We can use the run shortcut to find any complex objects in our scene that might be causing the frame rate issues. The assistant shows us the culprit. It's these conch objects. They have about 8 million triangles each. I'll just go ahead and delete these. Next, let's play some gentle wave sound effects whenever the player gets close to the shoreline. I attach the terrain and sea object to the assistant and I use the run shortcut to sample the terrain height and place wave emitters around sea level every 20 meters. Let's zoom out a bit and see if our assistant has done a good job. And yep, it has placed wave emitters all around the island. Let's continue by adding a wave sound audio clip to one of the wave emitters and I will also make sure that it loops. And then I will use the wave emitter with audio source to create a prefab. And I will rename this to wave emitter prefab. I would like to replace all the current wave emitters in the scene with this prefab. I'll attach it to the assistant and create a run command to find and replace the current wave emitters and place the new ones under the sounds object and to rename the replaced objects by appending their quadrant relative to their parent. After running the command, we can see that the objects were successfully moved and renamed. Now that we have sound in the scene, it is time to add some pirates. The scene has points of interest. I attach my pirate prefabs to the assistant and I will create a run command to spawn the pirates at the points of interest without duplicating any of them. After running the command, I can see in the assistant window which pirate has been spawned at which point of interest. Great. Now the player has somebody to talk to. Speaking of conversation, the pirates have a dialogue script attached. It shows the pirates vocabulary to be sparse. Let's attach it and ask assistant to add more phrases and languages to our dialogue. Run the script and a new dialogue appears in the project. Nice, the extended dialogue is exactly what I want. I'll add the new dialogue to the pirates in the scene. Then. Let's hit play to test it out. Let's walk over and make some small talk. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. And of course, that man tell no tales. Now let's switch to French and see how they do. A l'abordage. Mais oui. And yo ho ho et une bouteille de rum. Voilà, c'est magnifique. While in play mode, we can use AI generators to change assets in the scene. And I'd like to start by improving my terrain textures for the grass. I'll switch to the scene view and select the terrain. Then I'll scroll down and find the grass layer. The material generator is integrated with materials and terrain layers. Open up the generator with the button in the asset inspector. We'll prompt for dark green grass and hit generate. I'll select the one I like and use it to create a normal and mask map using the BBR tab. 
with the material done, let's go back into the game view and take a look around the scene. Let's see if we can generate something more appropriate for our Pirate Island flag. Back in the scene view, I select the flag texture and the asset and then click the generate button. I'll use the anime model to generate a black smiley face Jolly Roger flag. Because the generator is tied to the asset, you can directly see the result in the game. Now let's have a look how this works for animations. Here I have a pirate sitting on a barrel. Through the animator, I access the animation clip and open up the generator. In the video to motion tab, I use a video of myself to generate a stretching animation. After completion, we can see the generation directly in the scene view. With that done, let's move over to the shoreline to generate some wave sound effects for our 3D audio sources. In the target asset picker, choose Generate New to create a new audio clip. I'll prompt for some calm waves on the beach. Let's have a listen. Sometimes it's needed to just take a part of an audio clip. For this, there is a small audio edit tool in the inspector. It provides simple trim and envelope control. And that about wraps it up for assistant and generators. Thank you so much for watching.